C, you can also be given compounds like C eighteen H or let's not keep it eighteen C twenty two H sixty. If you check, considering N as twenty two, then two N plus two is not sixty because it's forty four plus two forty six. Two N is not sixty because it's forty four. And two n minus two is again not sixty because it's forty-two. So, what's this compound? Is it an alkane, alkene, alkyne? None of them are satisfying. So, it cannot be an alkane. Cannot be an alkene. Cannot be an alkyne. In reality. such a compound cannot exist because you see the simplest way to accommodate maximum number of hydrogens is by making an alkene see in the corresponding meth eth and prop i mean uh, in the corresponding props of alkane alkene alkyne that is propane propene and propyne you had c3h8 c3h6 c3h4 so the maximum number of hydrogens were present in the alkene now here in the alkene only it is 46 the number of hydrogens are 46 but in the formula they are 60 so the maximum number of hydrogen the compound which had the maximum number of hydrogen is the hydrogen are still lesser than that of the compound which is given so obviously it the hydrogens can go maximum up to 46 but in the compound they are 60 so this is not possible at all so this compound cannot exist it can be less than 46 it can be 44 it can be 42 it can be even less than 42 because if we add more double triple bonds to it then the hydrogens can the hydrogens will be very less you have c22 and you have triple bonds at equal intervals like like this let me draw it better can go on like this it will have only two hydrogens see this has three valencies satisfied this has i mean there is one valency left so hydrogen will occupy that but in the middle see 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 all the four valencies are satisfied so they can't contain hydrogens so when the chain of 22 ends it will end in a manner somewhat like this and there will be a hydrogen over here so in total with a compound containing 22 carbons there are only two hydrogens so the hydrogens can be as less as possible obviously it can't be one or none because uh, so um, because this somewhere it has to end so somewhere there has to be a hydrogen at at the two ends at least so it can go very less 
but it cannot go above this maximum value which is decided by the alkane. So this compound cannot exist. Now, we have, um, you know, ring sort of structures. You know, like this. Two valencies, so two hydrogens, two valencies, so two hydrogens, all have two hydrogens. So we have these ring or cyclic sort of structures and they have no double bonds. So they are actually called cyclo, which is the prefix, alkanes. So this has six carbons and it has no double bonds. So it is a cycloalkane and since it has six carbons, if you remember the prefix for six was hex. So it is hexane, but since it is in a cycle, it's called cyclohexane. And similarly, if you have five carbons and the hydrogens, of course, it will be cyclopentane. You have cyclobutane. This is cyclopropane. You don't have cycloethane and cyclomethane, of course, because you need at least three carbon atoms to form a ring sort of structure. So, these cycloalkanes if you have just hexane, So if we have just hexane and instead of making this an alkene by removing the hydrogens on these two adjacent carbon atoms, we can remove this hydrogen and give this an electron and we can remove this hydrogen and give this an electron. So now what will happen is that this electron and this electron will form a bond. And these two electrons, since they form a bond, they enclose in a cycle. So it will basically two, three, four, five, six. these two electrons will form a bond, single bond over here because there was no bond so it will form only one bond and here there was a bond already so it formed another bond so it get, got converted into a double bond but here there was no bond so it got converted into a single bond and this will give rise to cyclohexane. Now you see, this is hexane, which is C6H14, or is it, yeah, H14. 
So, like in alkenes, al uh, alkanes to alkenes, we remove two hydrogens to make it an alkene. Here we remove two hydrogens and make it C6H12, but it does not become an alkene, rather it becomes a cycloalkane. So, this C6H12, this formula can also be of an alkene, whereas it can also be of an for cycloalkane. So, you see this ring has the, I mean the ring with only single bonds has a formula which is same as the corresponding straight chain alkene. 